Hello and welcome to Desert Rat Fiber Arts. I'm Desert Rat, but you can call me Lloyd. Okay, today we are going to continue with our flea study for 2023. Um, this week we're going to be doing Texel. Here we go. This is our Texel top that we got from Hearthside Fibers. This is something that I purchased myself. I am not sponsored by anybody uh, in any way, shape, or form. So, um, let's get a little information on it. So this is a breed from the Netherlands. According to this, it's 32 to 40 microns. Staple length is 80 to 150 millimeters, which is 3 to 6 inches. Um, before we open it up, let's take a look in the field guide to fleece. And let's take a look at the Texel in here. And here's the picture of the sheep. So you can get a good look at them. They're kind of cute. And we'll read um, the side here. It says they're from the Netherlands. Fleece weights about 7 to 12 pounds. Which is 3 and a quarter to 5 and a half kilograms. Staple length is 3 to 6 inches. Which is what it says here. Uh, fiber diameter is 26 to 36 microns. So it's kind of a good range there. Natural colors are white. Uh, the modern Texel was developed in the mid-1800s by crossing native sheep of the island of Texel off the coast of the Netherlands with Lincoln and Leicester Longwalls. The blue Texel with the steel gray to nearly black fleeces are, and badger pattern face is recognized as a separate breed in the Netherlands. Okay. So if we get anything other than white, it's Texel. It's the other breed. Um, Texels are bred to produce high quality meat, that's their role, and their wool is considered a secondary crop. Still those nice white Texel fleeces are versatile and yield yarns with better than average insulating qualities. The locks are springy and somewhat crisp feeling. Both fiber and locks exhibit partially organized crimp. If you get a fleece from a meat focused flock, you may need to pay special attention to cleaning the wool. Combing will help remove vegetable matter. Shorter staple pieces can be carded and longer ones can be combed. You'll find Texel relatively easy to spin, but remember that even worse than yarns will have a lofty quality. Effects of dyes. The fleece take dye colors clearly, but the low luster means they won't glisten. Best uses. Flexibility in a variety of techniques. High bulk Texel yarn is a good choice for cozy, sturdy blankets, stockinette knit sweaters, and or cushy mats and pillows. Okay. Uh, sorry if I'm talking funny. I got a <laughs> cough drop in my mouth. I should have finished up before I started recording. But let's give this a look at the Texel top here. It feels. It's not super soft. It's not horrible. Let's uh, pull off a little bit of this on the end. Take a look at it. Get my ruler out here. Pull this apart and lay it out on top of each other. So it should be between three to six inches. And this one is actually like five and a half inches. So we're pretty good right on the mark there for that. Uh, so let me uh, get my wheel set up and we'll get the spinning on this, see how it turns out.
Okay, it's the next day. The yarn has been wet finished and hung up to dry. And this is our finished results here. Um, we got about 34 yards, chain plied, um, roughly an air and weight, about eight wraps per inch. Um, it is nice and squishy. Got a fair amount of stretch to it, so I think it'd be good. It's not super soft, but it's softer than, uh, if you've ever felt that, like the Lion brand, um, uh, was it the Fisherman's Wool? Uh, it's softer than that, definitely. So, um, I think this would work absolutely great for, like, a hat or a sweater. Um, I think it's good. I would definitely spend more of this if I had it. Um, I don't know if I'd go out of my way for it. I mean, if it was a good deal, I would definitely would. So, how about you? Have you ever spun this stuff, the, uh, Texel? Uh, what are your thoughts on it? So, um, I'd love to hear them. So, next week, we're going to be doing Welsh Mountain. I've got that right here. See, it's this lovely black color. Um, so, it should be fun to spin up and give that a try. Anyways, so, until next time, happy crafting. <laughs>